Alright, good morning everyone. That was a bit of a rough start. Um, <laughs> I was just like about to start the stream and then suddenly I see that the screen turns blue and that cheeky PlayStation says, hey, you haven't used me for so long. I'm going to switch into sleep mode. And, uh, yeah. Um. And then, uh. Uh, it switched into sleep mode without me being able to do anything until it had finished going to sleep. And then I had to push the button to wake it up. And then it took its sweet time. PS4 equals power saving 4. Yes. Um. That's actually... <laughs> I love that, yeah. Uh, and by love that, I mean I hope it never happens again, and I will probably, if I think of it, I will go and... Uh, I think I might head over to the hunting grounds later, you win. I saw you training in the pit the other day. Uh, wait. Um, I should probably fast travel there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. So, ah, wrong button. Um, yeah, anyway, good morning, everyone. I hope you're feeling good. Um, and we're again playing Horizon the Forbidden West on this last Friday of the week. Um, yeah, so, uh. That's our plan for today. We'll start with a little bandit camp to begin with, and then probably do the any side quests that may be related to our main quest. Um, because I don't think we actually have uh, any full-on side quests right now. All right, um, bandit camp, bandit camp. If I was a bandit camp, I would be right behind this dangerous machine. Oh, great. Yeah. So, um, that was fun yesterday. I really enjoyed the few things we learned and how we... Oh, no, actually... We're not... Okay, the pathfinding was just showing me, like, some official hard path. hard to see anything through this dust. Oh, okay, there's another one. I wonder what they used all these machines for. And I wonder, still wonder, which machines she's talking about. Because she's been saying that for quite a while now. I wonder what they used all these machines for. I see no. I need to get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. Okay. Better use something other than frost. Weak versus electricity. Quest resource. I'm not sure what we're trying to get. But I guess it's okay. Anyone else left to tag? Yep, up there somewhere. Can't see them though. All right, let's have a short look. So, of course, we've only increased our hunter bow pouch last time. 
Yeah, I think we had like 13 and now we're 20, right? I hope. I hope I'm not just imagining things. Weapons now, of course. I forgot about that. I don't think I can sneakily kill these machines unless I go and try to override them. By the way, does anyone see any indicator whether I'm in stealth or not? Because I think they just removed that. Which, you know, fair, you don't have that in real life, but on the other hand, you have a vague idea of whether your arm is sticking out past some bushes or not. There's another cauldron with override data on that one. Okay, I guess that answers my question. That I don't have the ability to override these, right? Ravager. All quiet out there? Yeah, deadly combat machine often found on its own or in small groups. IOTA overrides locked. So we don't really have those. So I guess I'm going loud because I don't think I can just sneakily take out one of them in like one shot or something. Acid ammo could help here. But I'm thinking. Could probably adhesive. Oh right. Um uh, acid trap would be here. Let's see if we can just place one. And then maybe get ready. Stay alert, soldier. Even worse than I hoped, I think. Jeez. Whoops. How long does it take to take you out? Okay. We're just face tanking this today. Come on. Heal. Aloy? Okay, now. Let's see. Hello. What's going on? Oh, don't I have the crafting resources or what? 
Wait, what? I don't have enough shards? How do I not have enough shards? I have seven shards? Did I spend so many shards on the weapon upgrades? Okay, it looks like I might be able We need to cover a wide area. Go now. We have to find her. Back there. We found her. bloody arrows coming from okay where's the other one ah oh, over there okay I'm out fuck this shit I'm out Okay. Let's take another heal then. And maybe pick up some more healing plants. And where did everyone else go? I have no clue. There seems to be someone still uh, up there. I think that might be the boss, who I think is a bit too far away. Oh, he accidentally killed a scorpion as well, which apparently gives meat, which is interesting. Oh, and I think... Oh, that's just a bristleback tusk. Okay. I guess that's a mission item, as it said. That's why that was golden. I thought that was a... A... a, a weapon. Heavy weapon. But apparently it isn't. And the game is again saying scan ancient machines and I'm going to like mm, I can where are later. any ancient machines okay we're full up on health plants now quickly find us a you're jumping I can see you better so uh yeah okay that's the rebel leader oh I should probably craft some more ammo so I guess the next upgrade I would want oh 
would be something to get me more sharp shot ammo. I hope so, because uh, I want to see you. So please come forward. Yes, here. Let's check this one for tags. That was easy. So will you all now panic? Okay. Yes, pretty much. Because I'm the hero of the game, so if I shoot random people... Oh, what's this? That looks like it's... A bridge or something. Okay, never mind. There's nobody out front. So I should be able to walk. They've escaped. We'll have to get our revenge next time. <laughs> if you want revenge. Movement. There. So <laughs> few more than I thought. Damn it! And I got you. Okay. Okay. And uh, I don't just let you shoot arrows at me. That would be rude. Seriously. And, um... And don't come back, right? You mean I shouldn't come back? I'm coming in after you! Where did you go? Um... What do you want here? Oh, you came down here? This area should be safe now. Alright. I can keep going. I think that's what they call, uh... Pacifying an area. Which, you know, wasn't very peaceful. So let's see, these two probably have stuff for me. And you as well. And there's someone over there we forgot. rocks always so overly dramatic look here loot oh it's just a rock don't play your rock and roll to me something like that all right let's see what we want to loot here Okay, that's not available as a quick save point yet. Loot the outpost leader. Oh, um, uh, 
Oh, he's probably up there. Or where? Oh yeah, that's his weapon. Let's see how that fires. Oh, that's basically... basically like the weapon we had at the end of the previous Thanks. game, I think. Not sure what to do with them. Better just hold on to them for now. Completed four rebel outposts. Woo! But yeah, it's a little interesting that we keep collecting this these tags and I think I might have accidentally skipped someone who wants these tags. Either related to... Um, either it's related to the quests I've decided not to do like the races and the um, and the melee pits and things like that. Or it could be that it's just someone I walked past and forgot. And I mean, on one hand, you know, if they plan to introduce this stuff later, I mean, it's nice that I don't have to go through all the ones I've cleared already and uh, collect the tags again. But... Uh, on the other hand, uh, it's still a bit, you know, it doesn't make the game easier, so it better be closely related to something in the story. And I don't see collecting random items like that as being that complicated to just not give to a later person. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Cauldron Mew. Okay, so that's what cauldrons look like, I guess. Repair Bay Tau. Alright, where is it? Where's the nearest? I don't think I see a cauldron anywhere. And I still don't know what to do with that tall neck. Well, okay, let's see what quests we have. So, uh, we have the Broken Sky. That would be main quest, and it's level 17. Let's see, Purge Water, Hunter Bow... We're really out of shards. I guess since I need them for arrows and I bought a few big weapons, I guess I must have used them up, but I didn't even see. But I was so low. We still don't have the Shellwalker Circulator, so I think I might try to find those.
Oh, and probably maybe some of the upgrades also needed something. But that we have hunting grounds and melee pits. <sighs> that feels annoying, and I'm I'm so sure. Oh, that's a relic rune, right? Cauldrons. Interesting, that other tall neck that we observed doesn't even show up here as a discovered quest. Oh, I guess... Plus one wings of the ten. I think I want to go and see what happens if I try to trade in one of those black boxes. If we get any more story or if it's just thanks bring me all 12 and uh, I'll give you something oh, oh. quest resource it's probably just one of my upgrades needs a bristle back, back tusk, right? So probably here, Lancehorn, Shellwalker, Claimbird Jaw, Tail Duster. Hmm. No, none of these needs it interesting. All right, so there is our next thing to get. Okay, it's their fireplace. But uh, I guess we'll just have to disappoint them one more time. You here for the race, Outlander? <laughs> guess she really does have a death wish. All right. Um, completed. And now where is here somewhere? Right. Yeah. That's the Memorial Grove. So let's go back there and trade that in. Enemies in the shocked state are stunned for a short period of time, ideal for targeting hard to hit comp components. Or just ideal for hitting them when you really don't know how to shoot. Just saying. All right, come on, get going, game. Continue. Hi. Oh, no guards. What's going on? Nobody's home. Aloy, it's been a while since greeting Mark. Oh, that's N Natari, wasn't it? N Natika, sorry. Natari, I think I would have remembered that if it was just Atari with an extra letter. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding Mark. 
Atika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentok to rest, and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. <laughs> Alright. It's a little weird that they have no guards at the front. And... Wait, where am I? Uh, I guess we're here. And that means the person who wants our stuff is somewhere back there. Is that playback device working properly? Yes. Thank you for helping to fix it. I've brought you more of the voices you're collecting. Another chance to learn about this lost war. And now the display goes black. Um. Oh, we get... Dried Wing, Metal Fang, Slither Fang, Earth Bear, Tide Ripper, Tail Fin, Luminous Brainstem, Scorcher Scanning Ear, Stormbird, Thunderjaw Tail, Tremor Tusk, Tusk. Okay, that's how this goes. Well, that's neat, I guess. They all cost one black box. It kind of feels wasteful. But I think they don't... have the ones we need for our upgrades right now. Okay, so I think Let me we're... Let know when you want to trade for those voices. The locator beacon on the recordings has led me to others, but the signal doesn't always travel very far. You're lucky that the old ones speak to you. I wish I could hear their call. Will the new voices I brought help you? I don't know much about this other great battle you said these recordings are from. So anything I can learn helps me understand how these warriors fought. Okay, so the question is... I guess we'll have to risk it. I have more voices for you to preserve. You honor the fallen. So I guess I'll spend this one because it's the first one, but uh, let's see. Stormbird Storm Cannon. That looks like it might be a Heck to get. We will honor the voices here. Let me know when you're ready to part with them. Okay, no story really. What will you do with the recordings? Well, I'll have to speak to my superiors and see if we can make space for them. They aren't from the ten. But the voices of all warriors must be heard and remembered. Did the Delver say anything about where to find the recordings? Only that she found them in ancient flying machines, and that they were sending out some sort of signal. 
Well, there is a locator signal from the recording. I can detect it with my relic. That should help me find any more voices that are out there. Okay. There are still more voices for me to find. I hope I get the chance to learn from them. The ones we have will teach us much. I'll see if the signal leads me to another recording. That was a little anticlimactic, I guess, but at least we know now whether we'll get stuff or not. I wonder if we get to repair this. Hi, folks. Oh, I can't even greet you. Oh. I meant what I said, Aloy. The only way into the chamber below is through our agreement. What else do you need? I okay. should go. Dismissed. I should go. We're getting to be Commander Shepard, I guess. I wonder if that's intentional. You know, I mean, anyone who does a story-heavy combat game probably has looked at Mass Effect. I, you know, I think in, in that general area that's one of the ones to beat. So, uh... And by to beat, I mean, you know, just be inspired by and, uh... Uh, there's probably something in there for everyone. Like, for every... Game developer, at least. Um, so, uh, I'm kind of thinking that um, uh, you know that they're fully aware of Shepard saying I should go and saying we will have to put that in a few spots when we need an exit phrase just for fun. Draka seeks to obtain machine hearts so that his village can trade for water. Uh, let's do this side quest, I guess. A broken sky is meat Cotalo. Okay. You know what, let's main quest, come on. We've been doing all sorts of side stuff. Oh, wow. Um. Okay, this will require our mount at least. Don't notice me. Time to ride. Ride him, cowboy. Cowgirl. Ram girl. I what do you call someone riding a I guess it's called broadhead? I took a wrong turn. Come on, don't just stop. Oh no, okay, it works, I guess. Um, let's see. 
I'm thinking maybe, you know, this path. Oh. Why is there a bellow back just leisurely lying around? This location looks like there's some sort of uh, encounter planned. Okay. Charger is what it's called. Oh, okay. Which one was the broadhead then? Is that just Bronze Head was previous game? Uh oh. Okay, we've passed you. Now we can have a look at where we were supposed to go. I think we were supposed to. Did I just kill? Um, I don't know. There's the wildlife. A prairie dog. Aww. This will be in my stash when I need it. That's fine. Get stuck on the trees while we're aggroing everyone. Or even worse, don't get stuck on random hills. Ground's getting steeper, air's getting cold. Should be getting close to Stonecrest. <laughs> um What was this music? Ooh, the snow brought the chill. Okay. Stonecrest. We even have a sign. The heck? Outlander, I offer you an honorable trade. What do you have to offer to trade? Coils and weaves, impact, overdraw, tear, acid, fire, frost. Plasma and shock defense. All right, we haven't sold something in a while. Alright, let's sell these. Well, at least we should be close to being able to... A good display of that technique. Of that technique. always the the problem with the voice lines on one hand 
you don't want them too specific so that you can use these in a lot of spots. You know, if you see two f peoples fighting with pikes, you don't want to say someone, yes, a good display of uh, an uppercut or something, you know, so... Uh, if a cardinal is to lead the tribe, he must prove that in battle today. <coughs> The carol must prove it in battle. That is. To, uh, to the tribe. That's a little odd. So. Can't do our next upgrade yet. We could upgrade the Utaru Whisperer, I guess. Okay, trap crafting, potion, pouch upgrades. Looks like a uh, precision arrow quiver. Sharp shot bow, yes, thank you. And some of the horned lizards we killed in the desert by accident. Okay. Oh, and that bird we shot was a vulture? Basically, we accidentally got the resources, that's good. Always be vigilant. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so now we're up to 10 instead of just 6. That's nice. It's not quite as good as the hunter bow, but should give us a lot more to work with in one go. Do Outlanders have honor? That's a stupid question, asshole. I mean, you could argue, you know, like, do they define honor the same way you do? There might be differences in detail, but, uh, you know, it's not the right way to ask this question. And it's a very bad thing to think of other people and go like, maybe they, do, they don't have that positive thing. That doesn't look good. I don't think that's an enemy. Nope. Where are which ones are the enemies, please? They spotted me! Get back! I have a target! I've got her! We're under attack! You hear that alarm? Oh, you up there? They're mine! Reduce their numbers! Okay. And luckily they at least have a few metal shards. Winter 
Aylberry. So that was just for dramatic moment, I guess. That was cool. I liked that. You know, just walking by and getting... I, I guess this game is pretty good at, you know, getting a... Uh, giving you a feel of what people are dealing with in these areas regularly. So you know, okay, there are border skirmishes basically where attackers are occasionally coming here. And I also found it nice in the original game, and they have still have that here, that you on some of these roads you have guards that patrol the roads, which is, you know, totally a classic thing. It's like, that's how roads kind of worked. You know, like, first it was just, like, Okay, there is this path that everyone walks, which is the most convenient way to get from point A to point B. And then it was, um, well, the cities are uh, fenced in and safe, but as soon as you lose the city limits, it's a bit dangerous because there might be bandits. And then they went, okay, we have these main roads. These are very important for military stuff. So, um, we'll send guards patrolling along them. And so, um, you had safe stretches of land. And as long as you stuck to the road, you were usually not too far from a patrol. And so, as long as you didn't go on a side road, you were quite safe. Um... And that, uh, you know, they basically have that here. They have NPCs patrolling the roads. And if they come a machine, they will take it out. Or sometimes there will be bandits, bandit bands also on these roads. This kind of feels like a redo of the Frozen Wilds in a way. There was also, we, we were walking up like a... Uh, We were walking uh, up like a, a uh, what do you call this kind of, a cleft in the mountains. And there were guards standing there. And in that case, they were calling out and like saying, Haha, Nora, aren't you cold? Things like that. I also like that these are obviously Tanakhed. But there, like you see, like, Aloy has a more uh, Plains Tanakt costume. And this seems more, you know, a little more war armor. I mean, Aloy has a quite a fancy, hmm. like, that's almost at the level of their king. It's also interesting what what these rocks like I guess they've carved these forms out of the rocks and painted them and placed some rocks at the bottom maybe to build these feathers hmm. not sure or you know if that's supposed to be some naturally occurring formation I don't think so although this almost looks like maybe these are leftovers from from old ones buildings that they just painted
This must be Stonecrest. Catullo should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. Okay, is there anything I can explore here? Guess we can. Let a dire would be interested in this. You hear voices in the distance, but. Oh, I guess those are fighting people. Okay, I wasn't sure about the shouts first. Yeah, okay. So it's going like, is someone arguing, or is that like a, I don't know, like Maasai style? Snow's melting on my clothes. Great. I hope I'm not going to accidentally... Is that the from the East I see? Then I have something to share. You know what's a waste? If we didn't kick them all back east. Oh, you have a rumor, okay. Did you get your orders? Yeah. Like what you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Easterner. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you, if you're looking for some solid rations to sustain you out in the wilds, you should go to Saltbite. It's a desert settlement east of here. Big Lake. Can't miss it. No the cook there, Pentala, will whip up a meal for anyone who needs it. Tanakh or not. Thanks for letting me know. I'll pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Alright, that was probably one of the less useful... I guess it tells us about that settlement. Maybe that is the goal. Uh, but but I like that they. I really like how they're different but the same. So, these northern tribes seem to be a little simpler from their dress, and you see they have different colors. Like basically, yeah, I guess there's more blue in their colors. Like, you see, Aloy has a yellowish-red, and yellow stripes, and black. And she has more like a blue tint in the red, and like light blue and white. And that's uh, a really nice way. It feels like, yeah, they're all the same tribe, basically. But they each have their own style. You could at least stand like a giant lift to tears of memory Okay. Come trade. Imagine what else there came. I don't think the herbalist has much that we want right now. And I don't think, yeah, we've really? not There's acquired. <laughs> That's nice. That reaction is cool. You know what's a waste? That they go, oh, there's nothing you want right now? I'm ready to trade. Stonecrest scan glyph scroll. Carefully written card glyphs with Fashav's personal mark. Evidently part of a diary or journal. Okay, so there's more. It kind of seems... It still seems kind of weird that he would leave his diary lying around everywhere. You know, it's kind of like those, uh, like in Bioshock, where everyone leaves their innermost thoughts just lying around as audio recordings. 
My first venture into the Shearside Mountains has been marked by dry cold, biting beauty and humbling admiration. Whereas the Desert Clan is forced to use old world ruins as the foundations for their settlements, sand makes for poor structural support, the Sky Clan sees the high peaks for strategic advantage. And I must admit, being former Karja High Command, I thank the sun that my people never pushed this far into Tanakh territory. We would not have enjoyed it. I'd expected the sky Tanakh to be nomadic like the Banuk, but quite the opposite is true. The clan wars molded them into a reclusive faction that takes pride in their defensive capabilities. Stonecrest is a formidable example. Serving as both border outpost and hunting station, it provides an unobstructed view of the surrounding area and precise control over its entry points. Any hostile force vying for access to the valley would undoubtedly suffer massive losses. My trusted escorts, both of Karo's lowland clan, showed little enthusiasm for my diplomatic mission to improve relations with Commander Tecote. They grow ever more silent as we close in on the extravagantly colored sky markings. My military and tactical observations are met with brooding looks. This has me confused. They accepted a Karja as a marshal after mere months, but the bad blood between clans still lingers after two decades of Hekaro's peaceful reign. It will be enlightening to hear the Sky Clan's perspective on such matters. Meeting this Tecote fellow should be interesting. I heard your brother Lady Bright. Bright. Yeah, he won't shut up about it. One Markley thinks he's good enough to Always got somewhere to go, don't you? You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Okay, this is another cook. Yeah. What about it? Turns out it was caught. Do you trade anything we need? Hammer burst. Whoops. Okay, take another look. Bellow Blast Spike Thrower. Sturdy Osarum weapon that can launch impact and explosive spikes. It can be upgraded to improve its rate of fire. Spikes must be thrown at full draw in order to penetrate armor. Okay. And Hammer Burst Bolt Blaster. Spark Among Osarum inventions. This weapon fires rapid bursts of bolts. It can be upgraded to handle explosive bolts and increase the chance of landing critical hits. Those are actually both... Sound like a good upgrade to what I have. Maybe. Word is the chief's champion took it head on. No. What is it you're looking for? bad. Hmm. I guess that sounds good. Latest patrol spotted a frost claw down in the valley. Thinking, thinking. Okay, that's where we arrived. Okay. So we've gone round once. And then a blade straight into its big belly. Sparks flying everywhere. Matching marks right. for you and me. Do you think command will give us leave? No. <laughs> you up for a game of strike later? You there. Okay. Come and trade. But you should know that I got I guess that's all here. Are you ready for the rebel? So let's go and talk to him. Don't go getting into too much trouble. Jeff. You bring trade. Just seems like may honor guide. Don't push him off. You know what? Your enemy is mine. And we didn't kick them all back. He's pretty good when we had the chance. Hmm. 
This valley is infested with regardless rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. And we should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. He seems very impatient. Looking at him, something seems... He seemed like he was um you know moving as if he still had his other arm and now I'm wondering like here it felt unbalanced. Um and now I'm wondering if that's just me not knowing enough. Like I know that, you know, there's this this idea of uh, phantom limb basically where people who've lost a limb kind of um still in some ways act as if it was still there and then realize it isn't um but um i wonder like how bad it is if you're losing one arm then of course your weight distribution across your shoulders is different so does that mean you develop posture problems? Probably. Um, does that mean you actually make an active effort of staying balanced? And it just feels weird to me because I'm just hyper aware that he's the guy who lost his arm. And... You know that... that uh, wounded people wouldn't necessarily been kept in this culture but i don't know it, like the gesture he made kind of felt like it was missing the other half or something like that i don't know it seems that maybe they didn't didn't do a special mocap For him, you know, just made a model without the arm and used the same motions. But I don't know. I don't know enough about that. I should probably read up on that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't going to change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark, biding his time. Hoping that his foes will weaken one another.
Is that enough for you? For now. And, uh... That was also something I, I looked at him and went like, why is he now in the colors of this clan? But then they reminded me, oh yeah, he was Sky Clan as well. So he apparently, which is interesting, so he apparently still wears the colors of his clan. Which... You know, I don't know how much of their colors are tattoos and how much... You know, like, obviously the face seems to be just face paint. Which, you know, over the years he would probably have had to redo. And then the question is, like, wouldn't he have adopted some colors of his new clan? You know, just by virtue of them probably not having many of those bright colors that the Sky Clan prefers. Like, if only he and maybe a few others use those colors, did he make an effort to kind of maintain his, his colors or not? That's kind of... Uh, Interesting. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something. Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. Okay. I also like that he goes like, I don't know about that. So he, he seems, I don't know if he realizes that there's more to Aloy than he thought. You know, that he thinks, oh, she's this hotshot warrior I've seen a lot. Seen a lot. And then he hears her use these words and goes, Wait, she seems to know things. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry. About the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. I'm... You know, like, in in any MMO or whatever, this story would end by him getting a robot arm, which, you know, I don't think is a thing that Horizon will do. And I actually hope they won't. But um, that said, I wonder, like, He, well, I guess we might not see that he has, you know, he's probably rearranged how he carries his weapons so that he can use them with, with one hand and things like that.
So that would probably suffice. But I'm I'm just realizing like I'm you know, I'm seeing him as that guy who lost his arm. And this actually feels like he's lost something. I don't know what they're doing different. I'm really curious. Like, in most games, when someone loses an arm, it's like immediately undone or... You know, or they're taken out and, uh, like, you don't take them along on battles with you and they, um, they get a different job where the other arm is not as necessary. So, like, the warrior, uh, decides, oh yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, here's this station, I can stay in contact with you via, you know, broadcast signals or whatever, and I'll just be, you know, kind of like Oracle on Batman or something like that. Um, that he'll just be command and control. Um, and I don't think they're doing that, and I think that's good. Because, like, we need to see... You know, like, he's still a person. He still has his skills, his training. Um, but, like, in, in most other games, it would be something like uh, you would have him at some point, you know, like, strap a shield to his shoulder or whatever, and then fight with the other hand or something like that, and at least he's protected on the side where he can't really defend himself, or they would do something like that, and we haven't even seen a hint of that. Admittedly, we haven't done more than talk to him here yet, so they might still go that route, but it'll be interesting to see what they do with him. I think so far I like how they're handling him, because this is recent for him, so he's not that used to it, and he's not not really comfortable in his skin yet. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest, so undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Vergala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I heard they're the ones behind the cards. On me. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. And giant lifts of gears and metal and meridian, if you believe such things. So what? But I, I also like how they. This is your chance to train. How they don't do the. Oh, these are just, you know, like. Rethemed themed Banuk. Would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect a blade, and the strength of the fighter who wields it. No good is anyone who lacks that. Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the chief hmm. wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Hmm. That seems to be a general theme, that he's just a very persuasive person. Rebels ahead. 
Hacking away at that machine. Gut them. Or sneak around. I will follow. Maybe both? Can we got them? All right, let's hear it. We haven't had a decent meal in a week. I'm being shot at. No. Oh. An intruder. Whoa! Fight with honor. Intruder. <laughs> You heard them! Shoot the outlander! I love that the shields are just like... That shields here are not impenetrable. But rather... Good. Onwards to the bulwark. Um. So I like that shields here are not impenetrable and require like this one specific thing to do, but rather that you can just get through them by. Um. You can just get through them, um, you know, by bashing more. But of course you can also go around them a little bit. Although I kind of wish, maybe I'll have to figure that out. There was a, a way to, uh, to, you know, like circumvent the shields. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. And that's a really clever... In the clearing. Take the lead. And, uh... Any sign of the enemy? Um... I also like that they're taking him along... Um... All clear? Doing Aloy, getting stuck to something. Oh, you have a stronger shield. Can I? I kind of expected to do, be able to do the Batman thing and be able to. I've got her in my sight. Ah, now we've got your shield. Okay. Make her Oh, I should go. Ooh. And I think my friend has been hurt. I'm all right. I can At least die with honor. Okay. I did manage to. Oh. 
Um, what was it that I wanted to do? Body shot god again. They're done. Finally headshot. Now let's okay. go. Wait, wait, we have to loot. Okay. We... But we need to wander off. Because there's so much loot around. Oops. Where Come. is... Wait. Here. Okay, we're full on that stuff. Is there any other loot? That we overlooked, I guess, the one up there on the hill. Oh, actually, the two up there on the hill. Alright. You can get a strong color out of this. Alright. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well... Maybe we can change his mind. You'd sooner move mountains. Oh. You know what I'm wondering? Like, he's closed off. Which, you know, basically traumatized, makes sense. So what if Hikaru is aware that, you know, he's probably, you know, feeling inferior? because he lost his arm. That's not something that this culture readily accepts, I think. Um, and it's unusually unusual that Hekaro kept him, I think, at least going from... The world always seems quieter when it snows. ...what we heard about uh, that other squad that we met earlier, where the boy got uh, acid in his eyes. So, what if Hikaru sent him here, knowing that he thinks the only way to stop Tecote is um, to, you know, challenge him in combat? And um, basically what he intends is for him... To, you know, at least take Tecote out of the equation so we can fight. Uh, so, so Hikaru's decisions get accepted by the hopefully more sensible next person. Or maybe even, you know, 
May maybe Kotalo gets um Full work. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Um so maybe Kotalo then would even become the leader by having challenged we should the leader. Not delay. Also, he's a bit of He has that same tone as Rost. We're wasting time by standing here. But with more anger and aggression, where Rost was more uh, calm experience and maybe a little bit of resignation. Come, Chakote waits above. Okay. <laughs> That's a cool touch that he doesn't just have a horn, but rather he has a You there part of an A machine. marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again, if that's something I should be recognizing. Oh, bit of when an we old world room. I'll do the talking. We'll see how it goes. But there's a metal bar in the mountain. So either that's something that we're supposed to pull out to kind of illustrate how brittle this whole Again. construct is. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. You heard him. Move it. Let's have a quick peek if we can see anything. Scan it, okay. But yeah, so I guess that was supposed to tell us maybe this is built on old world ruins. So there's some sort of base in the mountain again. And that arch... That arch looks suspiciously like a fossilized arm of a metal devil. Oh no. So is this another All Mother's Mountain like area? Or so? Oh, we can't go in. Dead. 
Things aren't looking good. I heard Catalo survived. Barely. Stay focused. Follow through. So I asked the chapter. But, yeah. So I'm wondering what that focus on the metal bar was supposed to show us. Like, these are the, the thoughts I have is, hmm, there might be an ancient ruin under there somewhere. Maybe even an ancient CPU. Maybe that's where we find one of the missing machines. Uh, missing AIs or whatever they're called. Um, or maybe that's a weak point that either Aloy can use, you know, to show you're not as safe as you seem, or it could be that it's foreshadowing, that that's something Aloy kind of noticed, and then... Uh, Regala takes advantage of. Is that Cotalo? What's he doing with an outlander? But I'm not an outlander. I look totally like you. Such a terrible wound. Blood of the Ten. That wound. That's also very realistic. You know that people will stare at him now and go like, oh my god, what's happened to him? Could you imagine what it feels like? Charging at an enemy, blade in hand? It must be something. What do you have to sell? Nothing that we haven't seen yet, I think. Okay. Oh, I have two more valuables to sell. I know where my loyalties lie, but you've got to admit it's an impressive feat. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. Dakota's inside. Shall we? I like I like that they leave the answer to you here that Aloy doesn't say mm, me too or something like that or uh you it's it's not all it's cracked up to be or something because like you go you know that you know Aloy was uncomfortable in in crowds early on and so I guess that's still something that plays into into any settlement she goes into you know is at least i mean if you grew up to be i don't know how old she was you know like 16 18 your blade be bright um in the name of the ten basically around few people um i don't think you ever get rid of that um feeling that that's normal and all the skills you had to acquire um to you know live among people came kind of late and uh I mean, it could still be... I don't know, she's never been... 
shown like this game starts with with her saying uh, uh with or rather with everyone telling her hey you just ducked out on us when we were celebrating so i think she's still a li little bit of a loner um you could see it developing differently if she just said hey i'm May your enemies fall. um You know, when that she just says, hey, this is cool. Finally, I have some people to speak to and things like that. But I guess, you know, you've built your entire life around there not being many people. So you've probably developed so many, are they coping mechanisms? But, you know, like habits. You formed so many habits that do not involve people. That, you know, the question is, how does Aloy feel in here? So shunned is probably also kind of what she would prefer. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know? the battles that the bulwark has withstood the blood shed upon stone i know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield you were a great warrior once but that was then you tell hakaro with all due respect that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Yes. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? A sharp blade to your enemies. <laughs> I'm catching yes. snowflakes on my lashes. I like this. This is the Aloy I like. <laughs> You know, that's the difference between her, like, all of the others are kind of, I guess to a degree, cliches, you know? They're just these, you know, a lot of them are warriors, or, you know, they're a simpler the people. might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Honor and, strength. and, um... On the other side, um, Aloy has grown up, you know, being taught by the focus. So she's developed 
a different way of thinking. And so she's much more about, you know, like, finding weak points in things, because that's what the focus kept showing her, you know? It's all the the patterns she found. Oh, just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Alright, so that was basically, I think... Okay. time to scan the wall. <sighs> Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. And that's what, you know, like, when, like, there's lots of games with, you know, interesting combat and interesting stories. But the difference is the way they've, and you know, that's probably in both directions. They probably came up with some gameplay mechanics that worked and were fun. And then went, okay, let's build Aloy. Mm, you know, like, my focus. let's make a main character that does all these things and then they found reasons for doing all these things and they found the story to connect it. I don't know if that's how the game was developed. There's always, you know, several ways to approach a game and there's during development, of course, a back and forth. So it could be that someone said, hey, it would be cool. No, but I think the, the basic idea they started with, I think I saw in a documentary that they posted um, was as far as I remember was basically um, you fight you know big robot dinosaurs and you shoot pieces off that was kind of the first idea they had and it didn't quite work out which is why shooting parts off of machines is still so limited it's basically it's all basically armor plating. You you don't shoot an entire arm off. Focus might find something I missed. Where is this water coming from? Ah, uh, so. They're luring us into this. Going into the wall. Towards a hollow, maybe. The rocks here might give way if I pry at them. Okay, this one. That's crazy. Um. But anyway, so um. It, the story didn't come first, you know? They had this idea. And then... kind of built... the story and Aloy around it a bit. They might have, like... My guess is... they went with, okay, robot dinosaurs kind of implies future, but also implies tribes. So that was probably the, the thing they started with, you know? Um, My strength is yours. Be guided by the pillar. We're like right beneath them here. No, not even close. See that soldier? Not even close. Ooh, shiny. Um, so there are more metal bits here. Um, yeah, 
And so um, you have to keep in mind that, uh, you know, Aloy was kind of initially designed to fit the game. It wasn't the other way around. Now, better scan that tank again. A power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Um, yeah, so, um, and that's, like, this combination of gameplay that you have in, in Horizon games, um, talking about them like it's a really long series, we have the second one now, um, You know, but, but the combination of things they do is because um, they wanted to get in this puzzling and it made sense with her focus and things. You know, Aloy, like, like these games, are much more strategic than other similar games in some ways. And that, um, like hits the sweet spot for me. The guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? But don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. <laughs> I love you. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. Then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Well, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakote, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. That's, of course, I, I like that they lampshade how different Aloy is. Like, how she just goes and says, okay, then we go there and, you know, take out a whole lot of people because that's what she does. She has done it before. Um, and since she, you know, for one has superior weapons and for the other, um... You know, at least the way I play her, she's also stealthy and strategic, you know. Or at least I try to play her like that. <laughs> then, of course, I screw up and just have to bash everyone with the spear. Um, but um, that, um, you know, that means she can actually do it different from others. And the focus helps her, too. Um, and so they lampshade that everyone else goes like, no, you can't do that. But they don't go like the way where, you know, where it's normal that everyone comes at you and says, oh, you're the great hero or something.
but rather they also uh, they they just go and uh, and say um I mean, you know, we have the people who come to Aloy and say, Oh, you are... Oh, hi, Tony. Sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, my God, I completely missed that. There were so many bot messages in between. I'm sorry. Um, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, it's going well. I'm really enjoying this. So sucked up in the story. The rebels before. Um, yeah, but... Um... So, um, it's, maybe I'm just, you know, I, I like this game, I've played through one for quite some time, so you kind of get uh, endeared with the game as well, and so maybe I'm seeing it as more positive than it is, but, um, what Aloy, uh, yeah, so she, fe she always feels embarrassed well, it looks like the Rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Okay, that's not working. So this is basically... Sort of a bellow back. Oh. You wanted your cannon, and that thing has them. This won't be easy to take down, especially with this. I'll handle the big guy. You focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Kill the Tremor Tusk and the Rebels. Great. So let's start with Maybe you. I should see if there's anything you can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, put the blade on Karo's neck. Your head out of the way. Chill water drum. Machines resistant to fire. Okay, but weak against ice. Okay. That the sounds. Machines heavy weapon. That could be useful. Ah. Okay. That looks promising. So we, if we can get it. To damage some of those barrels so it's damaged and then use the heavy weapon that might be a start oh is that a But that's not a bellow back, that's a broken one. And so frost bellow back. So again, they're giving us all the freezy liquid we need. Okay. Where is everyone else? So how do we get... Well, we don't really have anything frost equipped right now. That's a mistake, okay. Good that I checked before I ran in. Charging, oh, and we have... Weird. I thought we had five skill points a moment ago. Guess that was something else. Okay. 
let's see. Sharp shot bow. Spike thrower, bolt blaster, frost hunter bow. Let's equip you instead of the fire hunter bow. And uh, which warrior bow? Acid warrior bow. I think we might need, I'm not sure, we might need a warrior bow just because we're probably going to get attacked and won't have time to charge up a sharp shot bow. So, I guess the Acid Warrior Bow is the best we have. So, let's equip that one. I guess Okay But maybe Wait Let's see if we can get the people first, and for that, we might want our cleaving sharp shot bow back. Okay. <laughs> Here. Oh, but, one up. Okay, that didn't last very long, but at least we got them down to half. Let's see if we can craft more spike. The spear thing. Yes. This shot is for the fallen. Uh. 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 
Okay, that wasn't super stealthy, but at least we got the big guy. My guess is the big guy wasn't very... Uh, wasn't set to very strategic yet, and they'll get... You know, the first one you encounter is always a teaching opportunity. Whoa! That's true, that is a lot of blood from you. Okay. Got them all. Maybe heal. So, about that cannon? All right, but that was fun. That makes you feel really, really strong. Okay, that's some paint. Here are some healing plants that we might as well grab while we're there. But we might have a cutscene in a moment, so I think... We'll try to loot everything we can. Before we grab the stuff he has. Luckily, the, this was a fairly small camp. I kind of expect... kind of expected a little more here, like a data point or something, but I think that's it here. You know, I kind of expected to find a clue. There's a supply catch over there, I guess. Oh. There's some chill water. I guess the idea was if you can't face tank this on easy mode, you might be running around a lot. And if you attack from the back, then I guess, and, and he comes for you, then maybe you need chill water as well. Okay, at least we found some valuables. And what else? Not really seeing much. There would have been another... Seriously? The timing... <laughs> Didn't get the timing right there. Okay. But I guess... Oh, there's something up there. Grapple point. Acid bristleback. A few more resources, I guess. Let's go back there and see. Oh, that's a drone. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah, here's one. So we do want to loot. Yeah, 
everything here. So nice to to see that. I think we're done here. So let's see. Oh wait, that's not the tremor tusk. That's just a frost bellow back that we might blow up if we wanted to. Getting a lot of stuff. Almost 200 shards, and I guess that thing at the bottom is, uh, is, uh, sturdy hard plate. No, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. It isn't an item you're actually looting. I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Mm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. I hope we get the choice to... To let him do it. After you. Because that would be cool, you know, like say, okay, so we have a one armed um marshal who can take down Whoops. Um lady, are you okay? Is there a, um, excuse me, is there a priest present? Maybe one of those chaplains we heard about earlier? Um, we might need an exorcism. Hello? Anyone? <sighs> There's a chaplain when you need it. All right, where the heck? Oh, over there somewhere. Hey, you fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive, but killing the rebels and the machine, it was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job. Oh, no, soon enough. Oh, this snow's coming down heavy. I don't like this. It's... I guess it's not lateral thinking, and, you know, in some way, it's a stupid thing to do. This bulwark is something that otherwise the rebels would still need to get across. So by us destroying now, it means we create an opening for the rebels as well. Also, who knows, you know, like if we get it wrong, the, the elevator crashes down and uh, some people get hurt, you know, so you would kind of expect, you know, it seems kind of dangerous. Okay. Here it is. 
But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Well, go on. Can't we... Okay, so we just have to start the cutscene, I guess. Um... I would have kind of hoped that we'd get the chance to let him do it. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. Okay, I guess this one. Yeah, okay. Ah, that's not my reticle. The red thing is my reticle. Okay. Um, and now... I'll do a trigger it like this. It's working. Nothing's exploding. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you. Seems they can rescue themselves, but uh... what have you done? Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never! We will... We will rebuild it! Immediately! You are not safe. The Bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief! You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the Bulwark. So send them now, unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. <laughs> nice. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the Culret. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Okay, so we shot on the left, and so the elevator in the middle is still okay. But, yeah. Okay, so... 
Let's just go up there before we finish. But this was a really nice... I, I liked this story. Your enemy is mine. It was... I don't know, it was simple and it was story heavy, not combat heavy, so that's what I liked as well. Guess Tekode should choose his words more carefully. <laughs> Can we actually... is he still here? Yeah, I think that's him, right? But interestingly... We forgot the lessons of the ten. It is action that wins honor. He's angry. Okay, yeah, there's a lots of uh, exclamation marks here now that we can pick up next time. So, uh, this is where we will call it a day. I hope you've enjoyed it so much so far. I really found there's there's so much going on in this game. So, uh, yeah, happy to have done that before the week ends. And, uh, yeah, so as I hinted at yesterday, I've decided to switch to all weekday streams and leave Sunday alone. So that means the next stream will actually be on Monday, where we'll probably continue with well, I, w I will at least grab the side quests here. Um, Honor and strength. I'll probably also try to do those first, and then we'll probably move on to the Kull route afterwards. Um, not sure if we'll get to that on Monday, or if that'll be later in the week. But, anyway... Was that a bug or some freeze weapon? Was what a bug or a freeze weapon? Your enemy is mine. Um. Like there were definitely freeze weapons involved. If you mean that, like in the fight against the, what do they call them, Terror Tusk. Um, we used a lot of freeze stuff, freeze arrows and things like that. Um, or did you mean the cannon? The cannon was just like we shot a few rocks away and made an opening for the explodey thing. Oh, the person floating. That was a bug, I think, yeah. I think that was just, like, someone doing something. I don't know if that was... Oh, the snow's dampening sounds. I guess the... It was probably just that since the big um, terror tusk died there, and that probably had, like, a circular collision shape or something, you know, and then when the person died... They couldn't lie flat on the floor from the physics engine and kind of got, like, planked. <laughs> yeah. That was probably a little glitch. Yeah. But that happens in games, you know, because you're not really modeling a... You know, like... 3D animation frames are basically, each frame is a statue. Um, you have to model where everything will come to lie. And so what many games do is um, they have like a flat dead person. 
And so if you're on an incline or something, then, you know, that person gets tilted to fit that incline. And so sometimes it looks a little weird when they're only at the edge of an incline and then the rest of the body sticks out where it should be flopping over, really. The, there are some games that use ragdoll physics on their characters to, to make them look like they're, you know, to, to make them properly lie on the floor and adjust to the shape of stuff below that. But the problem with that is that it's more computationally expensive. So most games either only use that for the moment that the character dies and then switch it out with a static object or, um, you know, just have a falling over and dying animation that gets tilted to the ground. So uh, that's probably what it's related to. But all right, that was a fun Friday morning. And uh, I hope you'll have a good last day of the week. And uh, see you again on, remember, Monday. Not Sunday, but Monday. Space Engineers is ragdoll physics. It looks very broken. Yeah, it's ragdoll physics are uh, quite difficult to. Well, they're they're not easy to pull off, and uh, so so sometimes it happens that then you know dead bodies bounce or whatever. And since you don't want that, you have more control if you make it just a fixed animation. But then how the character lies is a problem. And if you do a fixed animation for the falling down, and then at the last moment swap it out, swap it out with a rag, with a rag doll. Sorry, um, then you also sometimes get like you know someone falls down dead, and suddenly the arm bounces or something, you know. So um, very, um, there are lots of glitches that you can have, and you just have to pick your trade off. Um, but yeah, um, so bye Ada, bye Tony, bye everyone else watching this on the VODs or lurking. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.